Yo, what's going on, Epic 7 fam? I'm Sue, and this is my beginner's guide for Abyss 493. Previously in Abyss 92, we had to fight Tywin and Roman, which was pretty much the most difficult Abyss fight up until this point. Thankfully, you get a breather in Abyss 93, as it's a really easy floor. In this floor, we're going to be fighting against Dominiel, and her passive is Amplified Blessing. This is the main mechanic for the fight. As long as she has Nixie's Grace, she is unaffected by increases in damage proportional to max health, and she's unaffected by CR reduction effects. Now, what gives her Nixie Grace is Zerato, who spawns alongside of her. As you can see, Nixie's Grace here, same effect, but it shares this effect with Dominia. So simply kill Zerato, then kill Dominia. Easy, right? As for the team, I've decided to go with Adventurer Raz, Tamarin, Commander Lorena, and Vivian, as these are all free units. Let's take a look at how we have them constructed. Here's Raz. I've preached him enough in my videos up to this point with the 6th anniversary event. This is the best PvE knight in all of Epic 7, in my opinion. Well worth getting to level 60, 6-star six Awoken. Try to get his skills leveled, but, you know, I recognize that Catalysts are kind of hard to get. Me, on my new player account, I am star for Catalyst, so 2-2-2 two, two, two works for me. As for his skill tree... It's absolutely worth getting invested. Make sure you actually get all of these abilities. Character's just super good, and all it costs is your time with the uh, Spirit Altar, so no reason not to. As for how to build the character, 65% plus effectiveness is ideal to help ensure those defense breaks. Boots are speed main stat. Ring is health percentage. Necklace is health percentage. Ideally, you would like four-piece speed set, two-piece health set. I think that's pretty much the simplest and easiest way to build the character. Artifact is Arius, as it's pretty much the go-to for any tank. But if you don't have Arius, Adamant Shield works. A couple of five stars also work if you are just lucky enough to have them, like Rise of a Monarch. That could also work for you. Healer is going to be Tamarin, the best PvE character pretty much in the entire game. Doesn't need to be six stars. Level 50 is sufficient. Skill levels have to be plus one on Shining Star and plus seven on Song of the Forest. These are the skills that make Tamarin Tamarin and make her the best character for PvE in Epic 7. So please make sure you get those invested in. As for how you actually build her, she's pretty simple. Just speed on the boots, health percentage on the ring, health percentage on the necklace. Ideally, at least four pieces on speed set if you can get it, but not entirely necessary. The faster you can get Tamarin, though, the better she's going to end up being. Artifact doesn't really matter at all for this floor. It's so easy. Play whatever you want. As for our main damage dealer, it's going to be Commander Lorena. The best single target PvE character in Epic 7, tied with basically Sermia. Sermia is a red unit though, boss is blue here. That's a tight disadvantage, so that's why we went with Commander Lorena. Absolutely worth the specialty change. Level 60, 6 star Awoken if possible, because that is going to give you the most amount of free stats. You want your DPS to be level 60, it's what lets them hit super, super hard. Again, I'm strapped for Catalyst, but try to get as many skill levels as you possibly can here. In her moves, Spiritual Armament being a particular one. If you get this to plus 5, that's a pretty big uh, pickup for your character. Same thing with Raz. Try to get the skill tree unlocked if at all possible. I'm slacking a little bit here on the account, right? So I would definitely try to get that if you can. Uh, at least like plus 24, I think, is going to be ideal. As you saw, I'm plus 26. So that's uh, obviously going to work out for me. As for how I built her, just use all the free dash pass gear. I'm on the destruction and the penetration pieces to just hit as hard as possible. If you're watching this and the dash pass event is already over, feel free to use the free attack set and critical hit chance set that the game gives you from the adventurer's path or any of the returning player or new player level 88 gear that the game gives you. As for artifact, I just decided to stick with Daydream Joker even though it's dead for half the fight because, again, the floor is really easy. Feel free to use any damage artifact that you have, even something like a symbol of unity that you could get from your guild for free. That'll work out for you. Lastly, I decided to go with Vivian here because, well, boss is blue. She's green. That seems like a pretty good combination. She gives attack buff to my entire team, along with Immunity and Zerato and Dominion are characters that are known for their debuffs. So that works out just fine with me. But you can play whatever you want in this slot. You can play like Arbiter of Vildred, Spectre Tenebria, any other like non-red DPS works just fine in the slot. Again, just like with Commander Lorena, level 60 would be ideal. 6-star Awoken if you could actually get it. Whatever you could get for the skills. Honestly, I probably should have Mana Amplification leveled here. Kind of sad that I don't. And then gear is just free stuff that we have laying around. Ideally, you want Speed Boots on Vivian. Uh, not necessarily Attack Boots. Yeah, attack Percentage Ring and Critical Hit Damage on the Necklace. 
As for the artifact, doesn't really matter. Whatever gives damage. And then the exclusive equipment, if you have access to these things, you're going to want the 50% CR increase on mana amplification. All right. Now that we understand the team, let's jump into it in real time and actually do Abyss 93. All right. Let's do this. All right, so on this first floor here, all you have to do is just basically rush down the Dust Dream Leech. I'm going to kill the adds. You don't necessarily have to. If you're confident in your healing, you can just kind of rush them down. I like killing the adds, though, on these floors as it lets me kind of build up souls and save my cooldowns. So we use Mana Amplification to get attack buff here. Use Spiral Breakthrough for a pushback and for big damage. All right, we press S2 to get some AoE damage in. All right, now we're not going to soul burn this because we're just going to eventually get it back when we fight the actual Dust Dream Leech at the end here. So we're just going to burn it on one of the ones that's not about to die in one hit. All right, so we could have Tamarin kill this one, Lorena kill this one, and that mitigates a lot of the incoming damage. S1 here on the add. S1 the add. S2 just to heal up all that chip damage. S2 just for the AoE. And then Lorena kills that. And now all we do is we just walk down the Dust Dream Leech like we did in the previous floor in 92. We could just save all of our cooldowns. S3 to top off Raz. It'll be back up long before we make it to floor two, so don't worry about that too much. S1. S2 to heal up all of our chip. And then it's just simply we just S1 when it's available. And then this will push us to the next floor. All right, this one's pretty simple. Just idle at the start, blitz Zerato, and then you're free to just kill Dominio whenever you want. Get our attack buff from idle mode. Go for our defense break on Zerata. Miss, sadly. Just get a soul burn for big damage. Get immunity up here with Vivian, so that way I don't have to deal with any potential debuffs here. Apparently, we lied. <laughs> Just S2 here. Soul burn here again. As you can see, all we're doing is we're just rushing down Zerato. Once he's gone, this fight's pretty trivial. Heal back up, get our attack buff. We could S2 here. This should do damage to both. Soul burn here. This should pick up a kill, even on a miss. Alright, and now all you do is just kill Divinio. As you can see, she got pushed back because she doesn't have Nixie's Grace anymore. So we're going to start doing amazing amounts of damage. No get S3 just for the defense buff. You can do this pretty much at any point during the fight if you want. I'm largely doing it because I'm pretty strapped for souls. You can see Lorena is doing big damage with her HP percentage. Sadly, no crit there, but hopefully you'll see it here again. Yeah, see, that's a huge chunk. That's like 6-7% every time she attacks. Alright, 
Yeah, I'm gonna do this just to have immunity on my characters, just in the off chance that I don't kill it in time. Breakthrough for the pushback. Yeah, and so we have to worry about anything there because we ended up actually, you know, resisting it due to immunity. Now, you have two options here. You could just rush down Dominia or you could just go back to fighting Zerato. For this point, I think because she's so low, I think I'm just going to end up focusing down the Dominia. Go for our, our defense buff here, even though it risks getting the AoE counter here. Alright, now we should have idle mode, no? Okay, one more turn on it. Don't think it's really going to matter, I think we have Spiral Breakthrough, which just wins the game here. And there you go. Like I said, really simple floor. Once Serato's down the first time, if you get lucky with RNG on Raz, you could pretty much just blitz the character. My first time through on Abyss floor 93, we didn't even have that second Serato spawn because we killed her so fast. Considering I'm using all free gear that everyone has access to, I think you'll have a very similar story if you just don't get it the first time. Just keep trying until you get that lucky defense break on Raz here or there, and you will absolutely have success with it. If you have any more questions, let me know down in the comments below. And if there's another strategy that you use that was not this one to help out fellow new players, post that down in the comments below. It'll be really helpful to other people watching the video. As always, enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week, and I'll see you all in Abyss Floor 94. Later now.